Welcome back. There's some breaking news coming in from the United States. We're going to be shifting focus to that. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is expected to announce that she's running for president on February 15th in Charleston. This is according to a person familiar with her plans. Haley would be the first Republican to jump into the 2024 presidential race this year, facing only former United States President Donald Trump, who launched his bid last year as her competition out of the gates. We're crossing over to CNN News 18, Siddhant Mishra, for more. Siddhant, over to you. Well, that's right. Uh, and in fact, uh, you know, since the time she had resigned from the uh, governor's post to the United Nations, it was very much expected. And in fact, uh, people close to Nikki Haley have been speaking about this, that uh, Nikki Haley is going to um, eye on the, on the presidential run. And look, today uh, 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 we are close to the announcement. And in fact, going by the reports that uh, American newspapers and media houses have published, then... On the 15th of February, there's a high possibility that at an event, Nikki Haley is going to announce her candidature uh, for the office of president from the Republican Party. So the interesting part is going to be that she's going to contest against her former boss. And in fact, uh, till now, uh, former president Donald Trump is the only candidate from the Republican Party. Now, Nikki Haley is the second announcement coming from the Republican Party. And she's going to run uh, against uh, her former boss. Also, Nikki Haley, uh, uh, all has, uh, um, uh, she comes from South Carolina and, uh, and has been, has a, has a, has a good background of, uh, of public service. So uh, it is not a surprise for, uh, for, for, for the American politics. It was very much expected since the time she uh, had resigned from the governor's post. And in fact, uh, uh, she did speak to her former boss, uh, President Donald Trump. In fact, she did inform him that she's going to uh, run for the office and she's going to announce her name as a candidate from the Republican Party. Absolutely. Thank Sudhan, thank you so much for joining us and for bringing us those details. We will have to see who the Republican Party essentially finally does decide to go with. But for right now, we're going to be shifting focus. There's some more breaking news.